Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Iris and the Giant on Steam with me, Jalanon. We've unlocked a memory, one of them, a little bit of a sad memory, but uh, hopefully we can grow stronger from it, right? So, we can try this hourglass thing. We already get more steel cards, so maybe we want to keep going with that. Hmm. Star inside Amphorae. Crystals. Bomb cards. I'm just trying to see what kind of makes the most sense for me at the moment. Hmm. Oh, we can get more upgrades and cards from chests. Okay, that's interesting. What about this way? Gain half the maximum will. That seems very nice early. Like, I kind of want to rush towards that. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess we'll rush towards that. Let's see, we're still playing in classic mode, Path the Giant. We got some steel cards, we got some whip powers. You know, form of a whip. And then we can skip this nowadays. Yes, all right then. So this is kind of the third run. Let's see how far we get. Honestly, I don't remember cats being a big thing in Greek mythology. Makes me think maybe Egyptian mythology might factor in here eventually. Hmm, why does this skeleton have a bow on its head? Oh, that's the hourglass. Yes, I am, I'm super smart. Yes. So these guys will shoot at me. Do I go for the hourglass first? I think, I think I ax first. I'll axe now, take two damage, and then we didn't get another sword, unfortunately. But we can sword that guy, get the hourglass, which should give us bonuses, right? Yes, okay. That makes things significantly easier. Okay. Wait, there's two? A secret passage. Okay. Let's try it. Can I, how do I get there? But how? <laughs> Will you take me there? No? Okay. Well, I don't think it'll let me... I'm clicking around. But apparently I would have had to do something to these blocks, maybe? Maybe I have to break through them? Uh, well, let's, let's try it, shall we? Oh, okay, I still have to break it. Uh, that's a lot of resources this early. I don't like it. We're doing it for the knowledge, if nothing else. Uh, I am not going to waste an axe on that. I'm going to use a little arrow. Okay. Looks like the stairs are unbreakable, but whip them dagger fob is the best way to remove any opponent. That makes sense. Hmm. Uses two cards for one opponent, though, so they'd have to be worth it. Um. Okay. Well, we have both our confidence cards. I don't like having them this early. I do want to take this out, get our golden hourglass, try to take out this guy, baby minotaur, mini minotaur. I'm going to take you down, take two damage, but then we get this. Okay, so we can get swords, daggers. Once again, that's going to be really useful once the enemies start getting armor, because apparently they do, and it's not always clear how many times you need to take them out. Blocking all attacks is also pretty good. Hmm. What swords? Blocking all attacks. It was nice, but it also seemed hard to get that to work, but we're gonna try it. Because now we've got the golden hourglass. Well, actually, does that count against that turn working? Uh, maybe we get these just to find out, because maybe, oh, we had a steel trap. Well, that's, that's wonderful. So wonderful. Okay, well, we're doing this, right? Yes? Sure. Get rid of these traps. Hmm. Oh, we could break this? And then, oh, we can just go up already. Okay, so that's the amphora. Looks kind of like a bucket, honestly. But yeah, you can see it's more of a jar lid at the top. Okay. okay. But yeah, we can just leave now. So, the only reason to keep killing stuff is for the stars. So I think I just need to learn when to retreat better. Okay, so yeah, we're in that secret area. 
So were those stairs always there and I just missed them every time? Hmm. Oh well. Try this treasure chest. Let's see, so now the whips can be pretty useful. Too bad I didn't take the daggers before. Uh, we'll take more swords. All right then. Hmm, so you have armor. Yeah. So you should take two hits to KO. How far can the whip go? Okay, it can only go up to three away. Still decent. Same with the bow. Yep, yep. I mean, we're throwing cards, but these cards have a bow and arrow. Anyway, hmm. What do we want then? I think we do... I think we do block all attacks. Because everything's attacking right now. <laughs> Painful. Okay, and then... I would rather take out two enemies than one enemy in terms of taking less damage, right? So, let's do a little bit of this. Mm, you can jump ahead, I don't like that. So we'll do that. Okay, then we block everything for another turn. That seems to work. Oh, we can kick the Amphora, I think that's free. Okay, go ahead. So I need to know if my whip ability thing, which should be up here, yep. When I play a whip, I draw two cards and it attacks the first opponent in the first round. So in theory, what? Okay, so I guess I have to target somebody in the first row with the whip to kill them with the whip. Man. Okay. Well, we're gonna do another snicker snack with the Vorpal Sword. It's not a Greek thing, but it could have been. If they'd had Lewis Carroll born in ancient Greece. Anyway, moving on. Hmm. I think I want to restore my will. Because that's 20 health. That will then get knocked down like another... Oh! Seven? So... Yeah! I think we do that. It'll be... Thy will be done, Iris, apparently. And I can still do something else, so I think I will. Let's take out one of you guys. Okay, and that's enough to level up. So we can get more cards, which I've been doing, and apparently it's not been the right choice. Uh, ooh, shield card will protect me during three turns instead of two, and I immediately get a shield for two turns after taking this, I guess. Determination also seems really good. Let's try it since we've gotten some shields. Alright. That seems useful. And then we can try to steal. Ho, 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 ho. So we want to go for one of these skeletons because the armored cats are currently in front. Annoying. Annoying. Uh, alternatively, I can take at down two incoming damage, I think. That seems pretty good. So let's do that. Kick the pot. And then do that. Okay, and then we can get a, another memory stone for meta progress. Okay. Excellent work, excellent work. Um, let's do... Sword. Sword. And then we can try to use the steel on one of these guys. So yeah, it hurts, it hurts. But, do that. Looks like a normal arrow card to me. Take a memory first. Don't talk to her. She's an idiot. She can't even defend herself, see? Stupid, 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 stupid. <laughs> this is a rather dark game. Ugh. That hurts my soul. Hmm. Okay, attack one opponent, arrow two. Do they give us... No, okay, so... We've got the one arrow. I think because we have the two stealing cards, we want to be able to KO these guys. I don't see the stairs yet. Hmm. So I don't know if it's worth going towards the skeleton or not. But in theory, if we don't kick the Amphora, then it can't come forward, right? 
Hold on. So I think what I do is this, because I will need to take care of that one on the left, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to whip. Okay, that is a damage, and then I can play again. We can steal a card. Okay. Ow. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So the whip is free, but of course that's a Oh dear. On each turn this cat will shoot a giant arrow at me for eight. Uh this is not the best thing ever. So let's try. I only had another sword. We'll do this, get our golden hourglass though. And then how much health do you have? You have like a hat? Oh, is it the two pips indicates how much armor stuff has? Oh. With that being the case, I think we arrow you. Yeah, okay. So those little pips of life seem important. As much as I want to steal a card from this, because it's probably like a golden arrow, I also don't want to die. <laughs> so I think we do this. And then that. Goodbye, cat. Ooh, we get something. Big ol' star. Okay, big demon. Every seven crystals we can gain an axe card and we're about to get some crystals. We went with that last time. My bag is better protected. Thieves have a 50% chance of not stealing anything. Eh. I gain one will point for each sword in my hand. Considering our will's pretty low, I want to try it. Well, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna take some crystals. Hmm. Okay, and then I don't need to do anything else over here. I don't have any unlocks for the Amphora yet, so it's kind of just a pointless kick, basically. The only question is if I want to heal now, so then I can get that out of my deck rotation. Hmm, I think the answer is no. We traverse the stairs once more. Labyrinthine maze of my imagination, with my will as my only guide. All I can say is labyrinthine is a pretty big word, so I don't think Iris is stupid. Let's put it that way. I think you got some schmuck, kid. Okay. Well, let's get some more crystals. And that, and I definitely should have shot that trap first. Oh well. Uh, I might die here. Hmm. Fatal blow to any opponent is pretty nice. The whips are actually pretty good for us, because we also get other free things. But we get three turns of block? Let's try that. Yeah, that was painful. Um, do I block or do I heal? This is the most healing I will ever get, so yes, we will heal. 29. That was the best use of healing. Um, I can three turn block. I think I want to play as many cards as I can, though. Yeah, especially since there's that mad bull guy there. So we're going to do this, and we can immediately play again. I've got two swords. That's not bad. You try to steal stuff from me, though. Does that work through block? Kind of important to know. Hmm. But I think instead of all that, I just go for minimizing my damage. Let's try to play smart. Okay, and then my bow and arrow. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and well, do I need to block yet? No. Let's open this first. Let's get some arrows. Axes seem pretty nice. Okay. Uh, and then I can still do stuff first. Okay. Axe seems decent. It's not three in a row, but it's still two. Hmm. But I could try to steal... A steal? Okay. Okay. It's not bad. Hmm. I think I just go ahead and do that. And then I shouldn't take any damage because they're busy moving. Uh, I do have an archer. 
but I think I do this. And then he won't attack this turn, but I can do this to get rid of that in the future. I have all my blocks in hand. And then we can bada bing, bada boom. Call it good. Okay. And I think once again, we're just getting these little shining effects. I don't think there's a hidden staircase, but who knows. All right. You must play at least one card. You can then end your turn if you want. That's something to keep in mind. Okay. This is where I wish I had all my axes, but alas, alas, we will instead block for three turns. Fools. Okay, so that would have been five damage. Hmm. Do I want to steal the archery card over a sword? I think at the moment, yes, because I see more mini minotaurs. And an upgrade. Okay, I think I need more cards. Hmm. I earn one will point for each defeated thing. Getting more cards back seems nice, but I think I just need to open the chest right now. Uh, whips are good for us. Axes are good for us in this situation, so yes. Alright, and we're invincible for one more turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. Okay, you're gonna charge for it's not gonna hurt. Then life is going to be pain. But I can do some weird stuff. I can get an extra turn. Yeah, I think I can do wham. An archer. Or I could sword. I want to save the swords for when I have an armored person. So let's do this. I should get my extra turn now and then I can block. But first let's open this. Uh, archery, opponents in a straight line seems decent, and daggers, now that we have a boss coming up. Okay, if I do this, that might be painful. I think I still do this right now. Okay. Then, I just need to make my way through the deck. I think I just take you down. Okay. And we only take three damage and I get some points back, okay, because of the swords in my hand. I like that. It's been working. Uh, let's see what you give me, big demon boy. All right. Uh, my arrow split into two. Does not work on enemies of the first row. Monsters who survive axes are stunned seems pretty good because axes are just very efficient cards when you have multiple enemies. Hmm. I like the two arrows thing, but I also like axes. Can I look at my... No, I cannot. Uh, not obviously so, anyway. Um, let's take arrows for now. Because so I don't know how many axes I have still. Uh, I have four. I have four arrows. So, either way, it seems pretty good. Um... We just need to make it through here, and then we can go up. Unless I want to get some more star points. Yeah. Do we care? This is probably the best use of my time, other than killing the Minotaur. So I think we kill the Minotaur, since we have two swords. And still less damage. And then I can either leave now and forever hold my peace, or try to get some more deliciousness done. So I can whip this guy and then send an... What? Fireball? But this guy still has armor, so he wouldn't go down. I think we just keep trying to get forward. So hopefully this works. And this is a great spot for the arrow. Alright, do I have arrows? No. Do I want arrows? Yes. Hmm. Okay, so, they're all trying to steal from me. Hmm. Okay, and you have a shield. Protects it from everything but magical cards, which we have a fire card. So that's an idea. So is that one, of course. 
Um, where are you carrying, skeleton? Hmm. I am playing this blind, so I don't, I don't know. Well, I think I'm more scared of that Minotaur, so let's do this. Oh. I can still do this, which seems appropriate. Unless we want to prevent cards being stolen from us, which also appropriate. You know what? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, then we take three damage, that's not terrible, and we only lose one card this way, which is important. And, ah, yeah, so you do have... The snake is going to set off its bomb under my nose, unless I set it off first. Hmm. Well, I think first things first, I block, like, all damage, right? All attacks. I wonder if this counts as an attack. Hmm. Okay, apparently it does. So... I block all damage, huh? Let's, let's do that real fast. Okay, that works. I can do that. Take that. Another memory. I don't know why she doesn't talk to me. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to help her. But I think it's me. I'm the one who's lost. I have a feeling Iris's mom is dead. Let's go ahead and do this. You're not going to get hurt by that, right? Yeah. Okay. But I'll KO those two. And then we block a lot of damage. Yeah. Having this last for more turns has been very good. Uh, we can go for you two. Right? If I go here, that should mean it automatically goes there, right? With our perk. Arrow split into two, striking two foes to his side. Oh, it doesn't work on enemies of the first row. Right, right, right. Uh, looks like the shield is chipped. Does it have two health left, though? I think we still do it. Yeah, okay, okay. So pay attention to the marks. That makes sense. Uh, we can do this. We can do that. Hmm. Hmm. I think we do this. Take that damage. Open you. Hmm. So we made our arrows better. We're seeing that magic is going to be more of a thing. Let's take swords. Let's take some magic. And then we can magic up. After I kick some stuff around. Yoink, yoink. Okay. Should be able to get another cool thing. So, blow up five opponents in the shape of a cross. If the explosion reaches me, I lose five will points. So we want that in the middle of a formation, it looks like. That's a lot of daggers, though. A rain of arrows? Or daggers? I like the idea of a lot of daggers, since we have so many shieldy boys. Hmm. Okay, you are not super tough. So I think we whipped, because that's free. Oh, that's how that works. <laughs> okay. Well, we learned that the hard way. Hmm. I have options. This guy is basically almost dead. Hmm. I can whip you. So that's free. And then we can do a little bit of this. Okay, and the yellow highlight under the feet shows you where it'll, where it will go. So that takes away a bunch of damage incoming. So I think we do that. Okay, we're gonna take some more damage, like three damage, but that's livable. Uh, nerve, on each floor, two demons will be tougher, but they will give me three stars. Interesting, optimism. Or will. I think I wanna go for the chest. Having more cards just seems good. Yeah, I think we do. Okay, two packs. Arrows are pretty good for us now. Got a bunch of daggers and a bunch of fire. Let's do fire and arrows. All right, we'll try this. And then we have more options, but I think we do this option. Yeah. 
you know. Okay. That worked out pretty well. And then we take a little bit of damage, but we can just leave. We don't have to waste resources on these guys, so we won't. Uh, other than there's crystals behind you, huh? How many is that? Two? Uh, for curiosity. So did breaking that reveal three crystals? Hmm. I wonder if it would have had more if I didn't hurt it. But okay, we're up to here-ish. Okay, we need to get to level seven, I think, for our imaginary friend to unlock. Which we do want more friendship. Oh, achievement unlocked. Tiny lightning. Incredible, I found an imaginary friend. I'll take him with me at the beginning of my next game. All right then, Iris. Now we have more friends. Ah, uh, you seem very sad. Interesting. So it's a normal skeleton, but it looks sad. Huh. Well, I see this golden hourglass, and I raise you a fireball. Okay. Uh, and then you're the other soul-stealing dude. Oh, what do you have? The attack of this demon is linked to the number of cards in my bag. Ah, uh, that's a cool idea. Okay. I want to get rid of the only dude that can really attack and steal at the moment, and then we only lose, what, three health? Three health and we do some stuff, yeah. I think that's good. Okay. Four health, because that guy had armor. Fair. Okay, we have a couple swords. We kind of want to leave these in our deck for now. We can go ahead and do this to these scary guys. Yeah. And then we just accept the four damage, I think? Yeah. I could, of course, have tried to block everything, but I want to protect my cards as much as I can. So I think now I start to block. This is the last shield, so I think I do this now. I probably should have done it earlier. But I'm still pretty content with my choice. Uh, I want to leave these in my hand as much as I can, but same time, I think we just go for the treasure chest and the crystals. We take our licks. And see what we can get. Whips are free. I want more blocks. Okay, we have a decent amount of cards. It feels like 30 is kind of where you want things at the moment. Get some more crystals. Okay, I don't have any axes apparently. Or I'm just... I'm just unlucky. It's a 1 out of 15 chance, basically. 1 out of 16 is closer. Hmm. So we can whip and do stuff. That seems pretty good to me. Yeah. Yeah. So I could do that. We could do this. That prevents an incoming damage. If we want the kills. Do we care about kills? We're only 6... Stars away, which we can definitely reach. Hmm. So yeah, I'm thinking we do this. And then we can use our fireball here, but this guy's still got armor. Okay. Do I care or do I just try to kind of run for the end maybe? I think I do this. I'm. I don't really want to use up all my daggers. That's a thing. So I have only five swords. I think I use a dagger here. Take some damage. Then we sword you. Level up. Okay. Picking up crystals gives will. That seems good. So does getting more cards. I think we go with more cards now. Painful, but now we can leave. We don't have to kill everything. All right then. Hmm, what are these fiery, fingery things floating in the back? What are you? I guess I don't know yet, okay. Baby minotaurs we are a little bit frightened of. Hmm. So I'm going for these. It would have been nice to get, like, five more health immediately. Um, I'm just thinking. I 
I'm gonna go here. Oh, what do you guys do? Demon will set my cards on fire. Playing a burning card will cost me eight will points. Oh dear, when do they, when do they do that though? <laughs> okay, well we're going to block everything. So that will hopefully give us some time to, oh, they can, they can do that from there. Well, that's horrifying, okay. Um, I think I do this, or this. I do this. Okay. Alright, and then, oh my goodness, where are you? One of the heads of the terrible Cerberus. The legends say its heads grow back after a while, it won't give them the chance, and it has multiple health points. Okay, that's not the best thing ever. Hmm. Now I need to take out... Wait, the dagger of this snake will reduce my maximum will, and its mirror reflects magical damage. Oh, so I do need to take out a few of these guys, it looks like. Hmm. I could try aiming for surface in this guy, but then this guy, okay. Well, this is the biggest issue. I didn't want to waste a fireball over here, but I think I might need to. Because of the Amphora. Um... I have one shield left. We can attack those guys. Hmm. I think I do this. Because we can still block stuff for a bit. Okay, then I can whip. You're gone. Okay, I have two swords in hand, so now I can block again for a while. Okay. And then we get some more will back. Uh, but I think I use these immediately. Oh! Oh, you died. Well, okay, well, I'm gonna do this. Uh, okay. Uh, grab this. Get some more axes, get some more arrows. Yeah. Okay, then we can axe immediately. Okay. Huh. You you grow back immediately, huh? Huh. Um. Fatal blow to any opponent. I guess we try this to see if it can grow back from the dagger. It can grow back from the dagger. Uh. Huh. It's because oh, there's. Of course, it's because there's three of them, right? And I just used my axes. Okay. Well, this is not good, as they say. Um, so the dagger doesn't matter here. I mean, I was hoping this would just keep coming, but no. All right, then. Game over. I think I got... 54 stars? Oh, okay. Here are some rewards for your next game. Six bomb cards. You found a new imaginary friend. Looks like Cerberus. You must complete their challenge. Reach floor 8 without using any memories. Oh, remove your memory points. Okay. We could do that. You just won six fire cards for the next game. Those are pretty good. So, for my memories, I need to change those. Memories. So, all I need to do is exit you, and I can have three memories now in the future, but we're going to try to reach floor eight without that. I didn't say anything about imaginary friends. So on each floor, demon will be wearing a golden hourglass on its head. I'm gonna take you, and then we get more imaginary friends as we go. <laughs> okay, I wonder if they all have different things or so on and so forth. Uh, for now, I think we're going to call an episode, dear viewer. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're enjoying Iris and the Giant. And I hope you, dear viewer, have a great day.